This is 300 plus academy. Uh, where all we do is exams tutoring, still on the subject matter, chemistry, alternative to practical, GCE, probable question, take this question very seriously. Okay, as you see popping up on your screen, okay, let's use the one on the board. Uh, we have a table for this question. This is actually a reaction between an impure solid, which is hydrated, and HCl solution. But first, what we were told to do in this probable question, as you see on your screen, is to copy and complete is to complete the table, is to complete the table, okay? Uh, where, you know, I've always said it, I said this uh, in one of uh, our content, I said, um, final breaths, um, volume of acid juice is actually final breaths reading, take away initial reading, okay? Now, what we have here, initially the bread is at 16.80. If the final reading is 33.20, then 33.20 take away 16.80. That is going to give us the volume of, uh, excuse me, that's going to give us the volume of, um, Okay, volume of uh, B, because B was in the bread, volume of B uh, used. Okay, so in this case, it is VB, it's VB, in this case, it is VB. So 33.20, take out 16.80, you're going to get 16.40, okay? For this, for me to have 16.40 as the volume used, it must have been 49.60 take out something so what i have here is 16.40 final reading was 49.60 initial reading is what we're looking for here so my initial reading is if this comes here 49.60 minus 16.40 and that is going to give me 33.20 33.20 that's going to give me 33. Point 20. And lastly, um, there must have been final breaths reading here. Take out 1.50 to give me this. So they are dead. that means 16.65 plus 1.50, that is going to give me 18.15. So that way we've been able to complete the table. Also, as you see on your screen, we're told to calculate the average volume of B used. Yes, average volume of B used. That is question A2. This is A1, uh, A2 now. When you look at it, this and this looks consistent. This looks far from this. So volume of B used here is going to be 16.40 plus 16.40 divided by 2. I'm just going to get 16.40 cm cube. I've been able to deal with that. Okay. That ends that, and then for B, from the information provided, calculate the concentration of YOH2 dot XH2O in Mopar DM cube. Now, looking at um, this information, I was I was told uh, I was given the uh, I was told that A is an impure solid actually. So when it is impure, I actually cannot use that. In the calculation talking about b now talking about b y o h2 y o h2 dot x h2 o is actually impure it's an impure solid so because it is impure i cannot use that but yet i was and that's that's actually my a that's my a and yet in question b B1, I was told to calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube. CA in mole per dm cube. 
was what I was told to calculate. Of course, from the reaction, the Na here is 1. If you look at from the question on your screen, the number of moles of the YOH2 that was in that reaction was 1. And the volume here, looking at it, uh, is actually titration of 25 cm cube portion of it. So this is in the pipette and this is 25 cm cube. Okay. Talking about my B, which is my HCL. Talking about which talks about my HCL. Of course, the information I was given is 0 0.025 mole in 250 cm cube. 0 0.025 mole. Sorry. In 250 cm3, in 250 cm3. Okay. Uh, from this, I can get the concentration of this in mole per dm3. So, concentration in mole per dm3 is actually the mole I have. C in mole per dm3 is actually the mole I have divided by the volume in dm3. And what I have here is that this is already in mole, 0 0.025 mole. It is the volume I need to deal with, 250. It's in cm cube, so therefore, 1,000 will be up here. That makes it become dm cube. Of course, this is going to mean, um, if you compute this, this is going to mean 0 0.10 mole per dm Q. But take note, I am looking for my CA, but for me to look for that, since I have information about my CB, it means my HCL CB B is actually the standard solution. So I'll be using this to standardize. I'll be using the concentration of this, which I know being a standard solution, to decode or detect uh, the concentration of my YOH2.XH2O, which is impure, by the way. And from uh, the reaction, number of moles of my B is actually to talking about my ACL. And the volume of my B is the average title value, which I calculated in A2, that's 16.40 uh, cm cube, 16.40 cm cube. So looking at this, my CA, if I use a CA, VA over CB, VB equals to NA over NB. Since I am looking for my CA, okay, this this moves here, so that what, what I have is CA equals to CB, VB, NA divided by NB, VA. So what I have is, what is my CB? My CB is 0 0.10 times my VB is uh, 16.40 my NA is 1 divided by my NB is 2 times uh, my VA is 25. If I compute this, my CA is actually going to give me, if I compute this, okay, uh, my CA is going to give me 0 0.032, 0 0.0328 mole per dm cube. That way, I have been able to answer question. Uh, I've been able to answer question B1. I've been able to answer question B1. Question B2 now. This is B1. Now, B2. Okay, question B2 says, calculate Y2 plus ions in mole per dm cube. Calculate. Concentration of, of course, that's concentration of, concentration of Y2 plus ions in mole per DMQ. In mole per DMQ. Y2 plus ions in mole uh, per DMQ. So how do we go about this? You need to first of all deal with your base. Uh, with uh, A, that's Y2 plus is actually coming from YOH2. 
2.xh2 so that you actually need to uh, break this down uh, hydrosyl naturally is OH minus. For me to have two of this here, and for me to have this, this that means this must be divalent, and we've also been told. So, what that means is that you write the equation, this means Y2 plus plus 2OH, and of course, this is just uh, XH2O. So, I am looking at uh, Y2 plus in this regard. So, what that means is very simple stoichiometrically if you look at this this is pure stoichiometry one mole of y of y o h 2 dot x h 2 o is equivalent to one mole of y 2 plus so that that is one over one recall that we've been able to calculate the concentration of YOH2 dot XH2, that is our CA here at 0 0.03 uh, to it. So I will calculate that one over one, one over one, see one over one. Well, now means, okay, concentration of this divided by concentration of this, that's 0 0.0328 mole per dm cube should be giving me the concentration of Y2 plus so that this concept, so concentration of Y2 plus is also 0 0.0328. Uh, because what they want there is, yes, what they want there is the concentration of Y2. Next question, we were told to look for the mass of pure, and the next question, we were told to look for the mass of pure YOH2, YOH2. Two dot x h two o. Of course, the pure substance can only come from uh, a balanced reaction. Um, and uh, looking at that, from the a balanced reaction, normally the concentration of y o h concentration of y o h two dot x h two o as calculated on B Roman figure 1 is actually 0 0.032328 mole per dm cube. So, um, we know that concentration equals to mole if you look at from the beginning of the uh, question from the beginning of the question this was in 250 cm cube of the solution and at the end of the question we were also told that the molecular mass was 158 Th these are things we were given okay is actually mole uh, divided by volume in dm cube okay from the beginning we were told that this was in 250 cm cube so that 0 0.0328 equals to mole is actually mass over molar mass so we want to try to get the mass the molar mass as given was 158 now the volume is 250 if 250 cm cube is here for me to convert this to dm cube then i'm going to have a 1000 here so that my mass is now 0 0.0328 times 158 times 250. I'll take that again so that my mass is now 0 0.0328 times 158 times 250 all divided by 1000. That way I've been able to get the mass in 250 cm cube. If I compute this I'm going to get 1.30 gram. I'm going to get 1.30 gram. That is the mass of the pure YOH, the pure YOH2 dot SH2O in 250 cm cube. Moving on to the next question. The next question wants me to calculate the percentage purity of YOH2 dot SH2O. So the percentage purity. 
is actually pure substance divided by the impure substance times 100. So that's going to be 1.30 divided by uh, 6.50 times 100. If I compute this, this is going to give me 20%. So it means that of the 6.50 gram of the impure solid dissolved in 250 cm of the solution, it is only 20% that is pure. And with that, we've come to the end of the question. You see that this question has a lot of stoichiometry in it. And it requires your ability to go back, uh, you know, to the beginning of the questions and uh, put things together, combining that with all of the formulas that you know. Okay, with that, we've come to the end of this question. So do well uh, to comment on uh, where you need clarity. That is if you need any. And uh, as well, turn on the notification bell, subscribe, share with your peers, and as well, check us out on our website where you can get to link up with us on WhatsApp to ask us all of your questions. Uh, visit uh, 300plusacademy.com and we will do justice to all of your questions from myself and the team here. Uh, it's bye for now.